I know there's a lot of you out there who have heard about the differences with dynamic tape versus kinesiology tapes. Well, today we'd like to show you what that difference actually is. So, today's matchup is dynamic tape versus a beige kinesiology tape. And how we're going to have this little contest is we have actually measured off two exact pieces of dynamic tape and kinesiology tape to show you using this uh, force gauge. It's called a smart handle. And what it actually does is it helps measure the amount of force uh, that's going through a resistance band. Works phenomenal for what we're doing here today. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you when we talk force for dynamic tape, this is what we're referring to. You'll notice in this range, you'll see that number does not even move. In fact, it doesn't even start to register until I hit the end of the tape and I can't pull it anymore and then that number starts going up. With dynamic tape, you'll notice throughout the entire range, you're gonna start seeing that number move. There we go. Just moving it just a few inches. That was 5.7 pounds of force. Why don't we stretch it a little bit faster? 8.1. When we talk viscoelasticity, this is what we're talking about with dynamic tape. The faster you move, the faster it recoils, 12.2 pounds. Let's do that even faster. 18 pounds of force with these two little pieces of tape. So the faster you move, the stronger you move, the faster dynamic tape works with you. So when you're looking to lift the skin and create space, this is your guy. When you're looking to change mechanics, increase the amount of pull in any different direction by absorbing force and helping you with everything and anything that you could imagine with your rehab or sports world, Dynamic Tape is the tape for you.